Book of Genesis chapter 14. In the days of Amraphel, king of Shinar, Atriok, king of Eleazar, Chet, Shedderlomer, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of Goyim, these kings made war with Bera, king of Sodom, Bersha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Adma, Shemabar, king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar. And all these joined forces in the valley of Sidim, that is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they had served Shedderlamer, but in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year Shedderlamer and the kings who were with him came and defeated the Rephaim in Ashtaroth Karnam, and the Zuzim in Ham, the Amim in Shevekiriathim, and the Horites in their hill country of Seir, as far as El Paran on the border of the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to En Mishfat, that is, Kadesh, and defeated all the country of the Amal Amalekites and also the Amorites, who were dwelling in the Zazan Tamar. Then the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, and the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zoar went out and they joined battle in the valley of Sidim, with Shedderlamer, king of Elam, Tidal, king of Goyim, Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Atriok, king of Eleazar, four kings against five. Now the valley of Sidim was full of bitumen pits, and as the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some fell into them, and the rest fled to the hill country, so the enemy took all the possessions of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their provisions and went their way. They also took Lot, the son of Abram's brother, who was dwelling in Sodom, and his possessions and went their way. Then one who had escaped came and told Abram the Hebrew, who was living by the oaks of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshcol and of Anir. These were allies of Abram. When Abram heard that his kinsmen had been taken captive, he led forth his trained men, born in his house, 318 of them, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. And he divided his forces against them by night, he and his servants, and defeated them and pursued them to Hubah, north of Damascus. Then he brought back all the possessions and also brought back his kinsmen, Lot, with his possessions, and the women and the people. Abram blessed by Melchizedek. After his return from the defeat of Shedderlamer and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the valley of Sheva, that is the king's valley. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God most high, and he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram and, God's most, and God most high, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be God most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tenth of everything, and the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons, but take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted my hand to the Lord, God most high, possessor of heaven and earth that I would not take a thread or a sandal strap or anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich. I will take nothing but what the young men have eaten, and the share of the men who went with me. Let Anur, Eshkol, and Mamre take their share. All right, I'm just going to go answer the door real quick. All right, there was no one there. So, in this chapter, we can see God's favor on Abram again. And this time it said very clearly, And blessed be God most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. So that's like, you know, obviously showing God has favored Abram. Abram. The rest is just describing the battle that took place that ended up with Lot being captured.
But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted my hand to the Lord God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth, that I would not take a thread or a sandal strap or anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich. So, here we see that Abram really wants to give the credit to God. He wants to let God take the credit for making him rich and making him worthy and blessing him. Which we can apply to our day-to-day -day lives because ultimately nothing that we have belongs to us. It all belongs to the Lord. And it is up to the Lord to decide who he wants to bless. So yeah, that's everything I have to say today. Uh, keep running when no one else is. Have a blessed day.